In this video, we will learn how to optimize the cost of Azure Log Analytics storage. Azure Log Analytics is used by AVD Insights, uh, which logs data from the session host VMs and the user sessions into a Log Analytics workspace. And the cost of Log Analytics workspaces can increase dramatically over time as the AVD environment grows and the number of users and session host VMs increases. In Nerdia Manager version 4.0, there is a new feature called Log Analytics Cost Optimization. And this capability can be found under the storage uh, menu under Log Analytics. So let's go ahead and, and navigate there and see uh, what can be done from this page. Number one thing you'll notice is on the bottom right, you have a link button that allows you to link a Log Analytics workspace that may not currently be managed by Nerdia Manager. So you can simply select it from the list of any uh, subscriptions you currently have in your environment. Once it is linked, you will get at a glance view of your Log Analytics workspace with the associated costs, as well as suggestions on how to optimize those costs. So Log Analytics costs from Azure are a fairly complex formula, and it's based on really two components. One is the usage or the ingestion rate, and the second one is the log data retention beyond 31 days. And what that means is you are basically paying for the number of gigabytes that you're ingesting within a 30 day period, 31 day period over the course of the month. And you're paying for it typically at about $2.76 per gigabyte. And if you're only retaining the base 31 days of data, then you're not paying anything for retention. But if you're retaining beyond 31 days, then however much data you're retaining, you're going to be paying a certain amount per gigabyte of data retention, which typically is right around 12 cents per gigabyte. So let's take a look at this um, log analytics as an example. So in this log analytics, I have a retention of 360 days. And I'm currently on the correct ingestion tier, which is called the pay as you go tier. And that is because I'm ingesting about 23 gigabytes of data per month. Now, this amount of data is fairly small, which is why the pay as you go tier happens to be the right one for me. However, if you are ingesting much more, Nerdio Manager would make a recommendation on whether you should increase your tier from a pay as you go tier to a more reserved number of gigabytes and then get the resulting savings from making a commitment to a certain amount of data ingestion. The second component is our log data retention beyond 31 days. So as I mentioned, the 31 days are free for retention. And then anything beyond 31 days you're paying for. It. So in my example, I am retaining 488 gigabytes between day 30 and day 360, which is the retention period of this log analytics workspace. When you put it all together, you take the ingestion cost and multiply it by the number of gigabytes that are ingested. You take the retention cost and multiply it by the number of gigabytes that are retained. You get the estimated total monthly cost of this example, $121 per month, which is fairly small given the small lab environment that I have. But in a production environment, especially with large number of VMs, this could get significant, could be hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars a month for the largest environments. Now let's take a look at what we can do in order to optimize and reduce these costs. Our lever number one is changing the retention period. The lower the retention, the less data beyond 31 days we're keeping and the less we're paying for that additional retention. Let's take a look at how that works. If I click on edit retention, and what I see here is that I am ingesting 23 gigabytes monthly, which is free to me because that's within 31 days. And then beyond those 30 days, I'm retaining 488 gigabytes, which is costing me $59 per month. Now, what would happen if I were to reduce my retention period from 360 to 90 days? If I type in 90, Nerdia Manager will, will run a what if analysis for me and tell me that the amount of data retained will decrease by 408 gigabytes and the resulting cost would decrease by $49 per month. If I were to reduce this down to 30 days, for example, then as you would expect, this entire amount, this entire $59 is going to 
uh, drop off my bill. So this gives you a really nice way to determine what is the cost benefit um, analysis between the cost of retaining more data and uh, the, the additional data that you have to go back to and report on over time. Normally 30 days is sufficient. Sometimes people like to have 60 or 90 days uh, and the longer you go, the more your retention will cost you. So that's lever number one. Lever number two, is management of actual data that is stored inside of your log analytics workspace. Now, in a AVD deployment, the data that's stored in the log analytics workspace comes from the Microsoft monitoring agent that's installed on each session host VMs. And it basically monitors certain Windows performance counters. These are the recommended counters that you can see here, in addition to Windows event logs. And there are certain presets that Nerdia Manager has. There is a high frequency preset, a low frequency and medium frequency. The higher the frequency, the more granular your data is, but the more data you're going to be ingesting. The lower the frequency, the, you know, the, the sample rate will be, will be lower between 60 and 120 seconds versus between 50 and 30 seconds, but you'll be retaining less data and you will have lower costs. So let's go ahead and switch between high and low and see what the impact may be. So let's scroll down and we will see a what if analysis that tells us if we were to reduce the frequency from high to low for all of these different uh, metrics, we would drop 17 gigabytes of storage. And as a result, we would drop $47 of monthly costs. Now, one thing that's really useful is you can see which of your counters are actually responsible for how much of your data. And what you'll notice is that this particular counter, the user input delay per process, is making up 77% of the total storage. So if I wanted to reduce the amount of this data specifically that I'm storing, I may take the sample rate from 60 seconds to let's say uh, 180 seconds. What that will do is it will recalculate what my reduction in costs will be and it's actually going to save me quite a bit more by, by retaining less of this particular type of data because it is responsible for so much of my total retention. So there are certain counters here that are more chatty, that are sending a lot more data to the log analytics workspace. And this gives you an easy way to play with what if scenarios and determine the cost benefit between lower costs and uh, more data retained and a higher sampling frequency. So once you have those three things under control, your uh, usage tier based on the ingestion rate, your retention based on how much data you want to keep historically, and your um, counters and the sampling frequency of those counters, which really determine uh, how much data is being ingested on a monthly basis, you'll be able to get the optimal cost structure. Uh, from here, you can also unlink your log analytics workspaces if you'd like, and you can even manage which host tools are streaming their diagnostics data into which uh, log analytics workspace. You can see in my lab environment, this particular one uh, is connected to a bunch of different host tools uh, that are using it to store AVD insights. Hope you found this useful and I will see you in future videos.